What's up guys, Super Gay here is here, and today we are going to be playing Sorcerer Fighting Simulator once again. But today we're going to be checking out the Easter eggs added in some of the recent updates. So, before we get into this, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we are so close to 5k subscribers. If you guys could get me to 5k by the end of the year, that would mean so much to me. Now, let's get into the video. Believe this door so right in spawn you go over here and you can click this door and then basically up above spawn and everything up here it's also a pretty cool view but you go over here and you see this chair and desk and, and this like computer looking thing which we're just going to assume is a computer and then there's also like this axe staff looking thing but also, there's this button at the, at the bottom, which previously did nothing, in, or a few updates ago. But now, um, I believe it was in the 2.6 update, we're at 2.62. Now, we can read this. To Principal Marm, Generator Failure A3 and A7. We have to send them an ASAP. We have to establish the cleaning teams in the coming weeks. These void disruptions are happening too often. The students are young, but they're going to have to fight eventually. So, what do we learn from this? Well, generator A3 and A7 are broken at the moment. And this is going to turn into more of a story game in time. Which I'm extremely excited about because that's going to be so cool. But now, before we actually get to the newest secret, let's go check out this over here if we actually go to the generators there actually is a3 and a7 one two three four five six seven and these currently don't really uh are like you can't really interact with it or anything but these are the generators and it actually shows that these two are off which I mean, kind of obvious, but it's a nice feature. Or kind of obvious that you would do that, but it is a nice feature nonetheless. So, now let's get to the biggest Easter egg, or surprise, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Alright, we're back at spawn, and if you go right outside of spawn and go over here, you'll find this trap door to be open. And I remember last night trying to look for stuff. I looked around everywhere. But I'm so blind that I didn't see this. But, you know, I know where it is now. So if we go in here, there is a void tracking. But there's also this other door that doesn't work currently, but it's called hypership testing. So I wonder if we'll be able to go in there in the future. But that's not about, or this isn't about that. It's about void tracking. So you see we have this big TV and all of these computer things. So we're going to read all of these and see what we think. Email. Sir, the hypership testing has been relatively successful so far. A lot of work still needs to be pushed, however. I wonder if that's for, like, you know, since, uh, you're talking about, like, the reap or, like, the dimensional stuff. I wonder if, like, this is, um, the hypership is going to be for, like, traveling to different dimensions or something, or to the, or to that dimension. But, I, I don't know. This is all, this is all just a theory. The tagged anomaly named Dimension Reaper has been breaching the wall more and more. We are just lucky that this type of threat cannot live in our realm for more than an hour. Well, technically Marm and Marm and the admins or whatever just spawn it or something. I don't know specifically, but it's something like that. But the story. So now on to the third one. Does Principal Marm ever use the World Ender magic nowadays? If you don't know what World Ender magic is, it's basically admin magic. But, story. Ever since he fought classified, we don't know what that is, he was granted negative energy. It nearly cost his, nearly cost his life. So, so what his powers can save us? It is still negative energy. The council must get rid of it immediately. So apparently, there's something called the council, which, is, or which has more authority than Marm. So, let's go over here and read this. I don't agree with what we have to do, but at least give them a few more weeks to train. The consistency of breaches are not as 
as frequent to raise the fleet. I'm still worried. The previous fleet was absolutely destroyed. Lack of training? No, the void is getting stronger. So, uh, I, I imagine we're going to be getting an update that, or like, we're going to get an update about all this stuff within two weeks, or, well, not within, at least like two weeks. And then onto our last tablet thingy. These students are literal gods. Only one in 30,000 humans have the ability to channel energy through their souls, with staffs enhancing this. What do you mean they're not ready? Classified has been sending second in command and so on. What a coward. He has been scared since Marm battled him. But I know he's getting strong. Or I know he's gotten stronger. And he's ready. So, we are literal gods. And only 1 in 30,000 humans have the ability to use magic. That's pretty cool. We are special. Funny. Um, so now on a... a now actually onto this. Briefing. Humans that follow the void are the lowest in command. They have been exposed to negative energy and was corrupted as a result. I can't I can't read because thingy in the way. Marm is the only known human to withstand negative energy and still remain the same. To add or to add to this, he was able to convert the masses of negative energy into his own energy. Codename World Ender. The corrupted sorcerers are being sent from beyond the wall, originating from the void. Oh look! Coincidentally, there are void orbs and stuff. Solution. For now, let us take the hit, but we, but best believe we will take the fight to them, right in their doorstep. So, here's what I think. If we're going to be going to, like, the void or whatever, that's going to involve using, like, like, some sort of spaceship thing. That's what I think this is. And that's going to take us to the void. Again, this is all just theory and whatever, but that's what I think. I'm really excited for this. So, what else do we get from this? Marm basically has negative energy and stuff, and he's been the only one who was able to control it or not become corrupted by it. And there's also this thing that is classified, which I assume is the first in command, since the Dimensional Reaper is second in command. So, the Dimensional Reaper basically breaking into our our realm or our world but it can't stay here for long it can, only, it can only stay for an hour which haha i've beat him before because i have this awesome scythe staff i think that might be about it for all this but again but best believe we will take the fight to them right in their right in their doorstep so that means we are going to be fighting the void be it sooner or later, we are going to. And I'm very hyped that this game has become sort of like a story game. Well, becoming. Hasn't really become a story game yet. But that's about it for this video. I guess before we end it, let's go check out where I am on the leaderboard. Over here, I believe I'm around 30-ish. 32, it's 60 QA. Well, QD, technically. But, uh, well, it's... He's getting really close to Quintilian. That's pretty crazy. So, um, if I want to actually get higher in the leaderboard, that's going to take a while because it starts to get a lot more pay to win the higher up you go. I guess I'm I'm kind of pay to win. You know, uh, I have auto train. I have two times mana, two times magic, no multi cap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I'm pretty pay to win, but regardless, that's going to take a while. Also, let's open some Morris just because Cosmic Gale, believe that, wait, did I not have that? No, I did. Oh, that's one of the bad ones. I don't know, purple just looks cool. Slip and slide. All right, I, I imagine that's a movement one. Endurance, boom, 1.2, 30% of your current endurance. Buffs area damage by 1.6, enhances the movement. Let's test this out. I think. This is, okay, this is definitely faster than that other one. Unless I'm just not used to, or I mean like, if I just got used to normally walking because my other one despawned, I think. 
But yeah, both of these are really good. I think this will be one of the most useful ones for fighting, though, because, you know, 1.6 times area damage. I believe, you know, this counts as area damage or something. Or a lot of this counts as area damage, because all that. But not sure. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one. Peace.